Why did you leave the Democratic Party to be where you are today? Every one of you has a book there where I go into detail about exactly why I did that. But uh, there are a few different things that you've cited there in those quotes. And we won't spend too much time dissecting every one of them. But I've made no secret about the fact that there were different decisions that President Trump made that I disagreed with. The one vote that you cited was I was the only Democrat in Congress who did not vote to impeach Donald Trump because I saw what that was exactly it was a political witch hunt specifically for partisan reasons and how dangerous a precedent that sets our founding fathers warned against that impeachment being used for partisan purposes rather than for what it was actually intended for i never got into the kind of personal smears and attacks that the democrats did uh, against donald trump when he was president because i felt that for our political discourse in this country whether we agree or we disagree, we need to stay focused on the substance. A lot has happened in our country from then until now. Uh, I, I was critical of, of my then uh, party's president, Barack Obama, and earned the ire of Democrats at that time. Mm -hmm. I've been known to be an independent thinker and a straight shooter. My country comes first. It always has. It always will. That's what motivates the decisions that I've made. And ultimately, what drove me to leave the Democratic Party was how could I, in good conscience, align myself with a party that at every step of the way has become the party that opposes freedom, that completely derides the Constitution and throws in the trash, doesn't believe that it's relevant to our country today. And as we are seeing over and over, and it looks like we'll talk about some of these examples, at every turn... They are willing to undermine the rule of law and politicize all these government agencies, the Department of Justice, law enforcement, and so on, just to remain in power. Going so far as to try to take away every one of our rights to decide who we want to vote for in this election. And they're doing that through the court of law. They've done it through over 32 states trying to get Donald Trump off of the ballot. They are so terrified of we the american people making quote unquote the wrong choice in their minds that they are willing to take away our freedom to supposedly protect ourselves and in their words to save democracy to destroy democracy in order to save it but really what they're doing is just trying to protect themselves but it shows that twisted mindset and we saw it in the supreme court ruling on that colorado case with the colorado ballot when unanimously the supreme court said no the people decide elections. A court doesn't unilaterally get to decide who's allowed to be on a ballot and who's not. And the reaction from people like David Axelrod and senior Democrats and the Democrat elite across the board, they immediately criticized the Supreme Court, which included some of people from their team, and threw up their hands and said, oh gosh, I guess the American people have to be the ones to save our democracy. It shows that twisted mindset that I saw building over time throughout the time I was in the Democratic Party, and it got to a point where there was no way I could associate myself with them anymore.